Yeah, so it's getting to a point now where, man, I'd rather be around the house. I'm working at this job right now. Well, first off, I was anybody familiar with RPG, Raleigh Power Group? Um, the month is, right now is July, July 16th, Friday, 2021. And uh, I was supposed to be in what part of Florida is it? Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, the pay is 40 and 130. No, 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 no. No, yeah, yeah, 40 and 130, yeah. And uh, I literally, literally supposed to be in Georgia. Why am I saying Georgia? <laughs> I literally supposed to be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida yesterday. But, and I I did not want to go. I finished the project with uh, performance contractors out here in Wilmington, North Carolina, of Highway 421, the stepping plant. And uh, I said to myself, man, I really don't want to go far away from home, you know? You know, but my kids getting big. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a single dad, so you know how that go. You know, to be exact, my oldest is 14 and my youngest is 12. So you know, and they're two girls. You gotta be home. You know, you know how that is. <laughs> you know, you, you go on the road and leave them home. You come back disaster. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I was supposed to be in uh, Florida yesterday. And um, finished that project, and I was just like, man, I do not want to go out of town. So, you know, having that network, like I explained on one of the videos, it's always good to have a network of uh, craftsmen, people you work with side by side in the field. And uh, when you're looking for work, you just call one of your buddies. Somebody always knows something because this is how we are as welders, as journeymen. We always keep our ear to the street, you know. Looking for the looking for the next, you know, the next hottest project, you know. Potentially, you know. We usually, you know, the next hottest. Looking for the next hottest project with potential. You know what I mean? So I called a few of my buddies up. I said, "Yeah, man, this is something right here." Right here, right around the way. You know, right now I'm, I'm uh, residing in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm, uh, I found a gig. A company I worked for way back 11 years ago. A little small, shim sham company. They usually do a lot of commercial work, but sometimes they take on big projects. But um, yeah, called them up. Whoop de woo, like they say in Kentucky. <laughs> Louisville. Whoop de whoop. You know, he said, Yeah, you wanna come out? I said, Yeah, what y'all paying? Man, I said 25, first off. I said, 25. What kind of weld y'all looking for? <laughs> what kind of weld are we doing? And you know, he just laid it out. Pretty much, you know, it's cakewalk, no QC, no safety, no nothing. Just, you know, you really ain't even got a supervisor. Just show up. You got a guy who worked for a different company who's gonna be pointing out what needs to be done and you just make the welds and be there every day, if possible. I said, man, you got a deal. What's the per deal? He said, 145. I said, you got a deal. You got a deal. How long the work supposed to last? Three months. I said, man, that's, that's all right. It's great. So, like I said, man, I, you know, I'm getting to the point now where, man, I'm not really, really, you know, chasing the, the biggest, the greatest amount of money as far as the hour is concerned. I'm not, I'm not really looking for the, the most money on the hour and uh, the most hours like I used to. If you want to work in 70 or 12s or, you know, which is 84 hours a week, I wasn't really interested. Up until about a few months ago, well, I'll take that back. Up until about two years ago, I started feeling that way. And that's just, that's how it is, man. Everybody's gonna come to that 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 point in their career at some point in time. Some may be faster than others, depending on your situation. Um, yeah, and, and I'm actually feeling like I thought I'd never. I used to hear guys back in the day talk like that. And I don't need to. I don't 
don't need to survive. I don't. If you can't survive on 50, you you know, I don't know what you're doing with your money. You know, a lot, a lot of older guys used to say that. Now that I'm getting older. <laughs> Now what I'm saying it, and I see exactly what they mean. You're comfortable, you know. I can, I can, I can make it all 50 hours. You know what I'm saying? But hey, like I told y'all in the beginning, like one of the first videos I dropped. If you look at it, I was working for a company doing some commercial work, and I told you that uh, I was gonna take you on a journey with me. Now we're what? Five years into the making of that that journey. Even though that video, that video was was from a long time ago. I used to always record, record myself, always record myself, and uh, yeah, so y'all pretty much following me on my journey, let me put my seatbelt on, right now I'm over here riding through the mountains, about to make that 88 mile trip back to Charlotte, so yeah, I mean, y'all gonna go through it. Just, uh, just hang in there, man. I tell you, you got a long way. Especially if you 21, 19. Man, I was working with some 19 year old guys, boy. They had that look in their eye. I was like, shit, boy. I, I remember that look. I remember the conversation, the, the arrogance, that, that everything, man. That big head, especially if you know what you're doing. And then you get ready to get paid at the end of the week. You about to bring home 31 and 29 and 41 and all this money and I'm talking about thousands 4100 2900 3100 you know and uh you, you just you just you talk to these guys man and I can see myself all over again man I can see myself all over again but I mean like I said man it's it's, it's, it's good you know it's good to be able to look back and, and then see yourself and then you see yourself now and and, and just see the new generation come up in this field and, and watch the old generation uh, pass through, you know, you hear the stories. And it's wonderful, man, construction life, man. It's, it's a whole nother lifestyle, man. When people talk about road dogs, uh, you know, road warrior. Man, that, it, that's real, man. It's, it's got some, it's an experience. And the, the earlier you start, you can live that experience. You start at 19, 20, whatever, your early 20s, and put about 10 years in. You're gonna have so much experience because you, you travel. You go from place to place, state to state, country to country, you know, and you're making so much money. And then you're young, you're strong, you know what I mean? You're courageous. All that good stuff. And it, it, it just, it's all good, man. But I'm here to tell you, save your money. Save some money. And have a purpose. I'm not just saying save money and just, what, do I, what else do I do? No, have a purpose. Have an exiting purpose. You know, with, with, with some of the money you save, just put it up. Trust me, the time is gonna fly. If you wanna do a 401k, that's your business. But hey, put some of that money up regardless live by that. See, I'm going to put, I'm going to make 3100 this week, I'm going to put away twelve, and that's it. And just keep doing it, keep doing it, man. I tell you, five years going to pass by, seven, and nine, and eleven, all of a sudden you're going to look back and, and you're going to be sitting here like me. <laughs> you know, kind of reminiscing, just kind of, you know, talking about how you're ready to just sit back and and if it's buy a house, you're gonna buy a house, or if you're building a house, you're gonna build a house, or oh, make your homestead, or whatever you have in, in mind, whatever your endeavors may be. But uh, yeah, it's real in the field, though. And that's a, that's a, that, yeah, that, that's a fact. It's real in the field. Yeah. Yeah, being in this field, uh, it makes and breaks not just you, but the people that love you. Make or break. And um, you know, I was married for 11 years, and uh, that on the road life pretty much got my marriage back in 2016. Got my marriage. I mean, the best advice I can give you is if you're gonna do this road thing, if you're gonna be a journeyman, whatever you whatever you choose, whether it's pipe well, pipe welding, fitting, whatever you choose. 
If you don't have a woman, at least have a plan. If you don't have a family, have a plan, okay? Work your plan. <laughs> Whatever's here in this year or whatever year you start, whether it's 2021, 2020, 2020, whatever, whatever year you jump off the porch and start your, your welding career, and you, you're single, look, work a plan. Come up with a plan, keep it, get a house, Okay, have a bank account, have things set up, be patient, you know what I'm saying? You know, make some money. You know, get that nest egg going. Establish yourself, grow up a little bit. And then after five years or so of being in the field, if you can hold off five years or whatever, until you meet your goal, however it may go, then, then step out and get you a woman start a family you know because that way you got a lot of that that youthfulness out of you you're more mature you're less giddy jittery antsy you know you got more wisdom and, and then your family's not gonna suffer because you know as a young man starting out making all that money you're damn near a celebrity as far as the money is concerned. There's nowhere you can't go. There's nothing you can't buy within reason. <laughs> there ain't no piece of jewelry you can't own. I mean, listen, you're making over $2,500 a, a, a week or better. So that's 10 grand a month. Only what? That's only like 6% of uh, the population in America makes that. If I'm not mistaken, I may be off a little bit with my uh, percentage but uh yeah man I mean you know yeah but I just want to sit here and you know talk to y'all a little bit I got a little bit left, a little about, about an hour left on my drive but um yeah let me know in the comments what you think how you feel you gotta talk about it you gotta talk about it you gotta talk to somebody about it <laughs> Especially if you're not really, you know, considering what I'm saying. You better consider it because I, oh, I, I tell you, if we can get into it. Just let me know. We can, we can make a whole other video on, on, on my life and the, starting out and all the wild stuff, stuff I did in, in different countries and high speed chases with the cartel and running to immigration and people thinking I was from the Dominican Republic and going to Canada and getting stuck. Oh my goodness. Those drug habit days, all that, man. It's, uh, some people like to say those was the good old days. But I tell you what, I'm not going to say that. Because if I can, if I can take, if I can rewind time, I'd take back some of the things I did, some of the things I said, the way I acted, some of the, bur the bridges I burnt because of the money and the arrogance. I mean, I went on jobs and, oh man, disaster. Not as far as the wells or nothing like that, but my attitude, you know, just the big head. You know, I can do a test with my eyes closed because that's so much practice and confidence and, and, I, and, and, and I, I believed in my ability and my ability showed forth when I took the test and get compliments and that looked good and we glad to have you. All that stuff puff you up. And I used to, oh man, but like I said, we we can get into it because again y'all gonna go through it, some of some of the stuff I'm mentioning but it's good to hear people talk about it who, who've been through stuff like that and it's a lot of older guys and it's in this you know that's a part of this uh Chris Tanner you uh community YouTube community you know part of this channel they can tell you they can tell you yeah, he ain't lying he can make you or break you but it, like I said it's good to hear people that's in the field, that's experience, that's pretty much an expert at what they do. And what makes you an expert is the fact that you can teach, you can teach, okay, what you know. If you're able to teach it, if people can understand it and it's correct, hey, you're an expert. You got results that, 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 that you know, that, that's gonna back you up, success. You're an expert as far as I'm concerned. But, um, yeah. It's good I could, uh, just get a 
chance to to be home, you know? And uh, I'm getting ready to build another house. I'm gonna take y'all on that journey too. It's gonna be nice, nice. Because a lot of things, um, not a lot of things, but uh, <laughs> uh, one thing y'all may not know about me, I'm also a product developer. Okay, I design things. In other words, inventor. Right now, I got a, uh, a patent pending, and I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share that journey with you as well because it's something that's gonna benefit you. It's gonna benefit us. It's been benefiting me for years, and it's got me welding really fast. People wonder how you walk a cup that fast, man. Yeah, it's something I invented, and uh, we got a we got a company. Well, I say we, but I. I got a company that's uh, actually doing research on it because they're interested in. Uh, licensing this idea for me, the, the product that, that I developed. It's, the company name is CK Worldwide. Look them up, CK Worldwide. They're one of the biggest TIG welding handle, TIG welding handle, they're one of the biggest uh, TIG handle uh, manufacturers in, in the country. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. I can uh, license this product to them. Or maybe even if they want to buy it, hey, I'm, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not resistant to uh, selling that product to them. But yeah, I'm gonna take y'all on that journey. Uh, y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, I've been on here about 16 minutes. I ain't even gonna say rant, even though rant is not a bad, <laughs> bad word. But uh, I like to say talking and, and conversating and, and spending some time with you guys. But uh, yeah, y'all support the channel. MyGoldenArm.com. Get you some merch. It's gonna be a new. Oh, it's gonna be an overhaul of the website. New product coming out. Um, but yeah, get you some merch. Golden Arm because you're good at what you do. And uh, I'll see you guys in the field. Golden Arm, because you're good at what you do.